Hello everyone. Today I have brought uh, another helpful tutorial that is to create the isometric objects or isometric shapes in Adobe Illustrator. As can be seen in this on the screen that you must have wondered as how these graphics are created. It must have taken a great amount of time. But what if I tell you that these graphics are very much easier to create and we will be creating these graphics within a matter of minutes uh, by following some basics and easy steps. So let's proceed how to do that. Basically, you must have created such drawings. Basically, it is nothing. It is just a circle, then some small circles, then placement of icons, then create some dashed strokes, creating a circular array. And you can basically easily create this form of graphics easily. But how can we transform this thing into this thing? Okay. So you must have thought that these graphics let's take a small portion like this okay so let's keep it aside for now okay and place these icons over here so just for understanding let's delete the other and keep only one so basically this is the icon that you want to make isometric and let's see how we can do that within a matter of seconds just simply select the shape here you can see the shear tool basically isometric drawings are created at 30 degree angle okay so double click on this shape and select shear angle to 30 you can try 30 minus 30 horizontal vertical to see the variation but let's see how we can do that okay you can see that 30 degree has been shared okay now you have to select the same shape and click on the rotate tool double click and select the angle at 30 degree see the effect and you can also select minus 30 degree see the effect means you can create isometric drawings at different angle by following these steps so let's do one more time again selecting it let's try minus 30 okay and again select the rotate tool let's select 30 okay. and also select minus 30 so basically it is also all all the variations of isometric drawings that are created so we can see that the same results are achieved by keeping the angle as minus 30 degree okay but the interesting thing is that you do not need to apply this effect individually on all the objects we basically you can create such type of 2d drawings or 2d design whatever and you can simply create in the isometric manner just select everything and group it so it will be treated as an one object okay click on the shape again go to shear let's select minus 30 that we did earlier and then go to rotate to land select uh, let's say 30 will be placed on the x plane that is the bottom plane or if we keep the minus 30 so it will give the such type of effect that is the isometric shape so basically you can see that how easily you can transform your 2d drawing into an isometric manner you can basically play with such option and you can do various variations uh, that the, the sky is the limit there is never ending <laughs>